and ever wondered what the recent tumult in Bitcoin's price means for investors, let's dive in. On the 4th of July, Bitcoin's value took a nosedive, only to plunge further the next day. But as the weekend approached, something interesting happened. Demand surged, creating a long lower wick on the price chart. Could this be a sign that the downtrend is ending? Not so fast, says one analyst. This analyst points to the Bitcoin MVRV momentum indicator, which compares the market value to the realized value of BTC. When the indicator trends above the one-year moving average, prices usually rise. However, it's currently below the moving average, hinting at weakness in the market. Uh, but wait, there's more to this story. Uh, back in March 2023, we saw a similar scenario when prices did recover eventually. Could history repeat itself? It's anyone's guess, and the dilemma for investors is real as the chart suggests market weakness, but the breakout from the 12-month moving average might mean bears are getting ready for more losses. Now, is it really a mount? But if you want to scan, as prices dropped, they became more attractive to sell, creating an opportunity for buyers to snag a deal this could force a short squeeze and liquidate leveraged sellers, uh, turning in the tide. Uh, however, there is a catch. Unrealized losses held by short-term holders remain high. If prices drop and panic selling ensues, it could trigger a rapid price collapse. With all these moving parts, it's clear that the world of Bitcoin trading is as thrilling as ever. So stay informed, be patient, and remember, in crypto, the only important for certainty is uncertainty. With that said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next adventure. Why don't Bitcoin traders ever get locked out of their account? Um, because their password is always one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but now, uh, just a little joke for you. Remember, in real trading, security is no laughing matter.